Hello everyone, I'm Ritesh and you're watching Dancing with Data. So this will be the third, third and the last video of the Tableau Pulse or say introduction to Tableau Pulse series. In the day one video, we talked about how to enable uh, Tableau Pulse from scratch. Even if you don't have the license, you know how to get the Tableau free trial version right from there. While in the second video, we talked about how you create metrics with Pulse. So if you have not watched my first two videos and you are coming here for the first time, and if you are new to Tableau Pulse, I would first recommend you to go through the first two videos and the will, link will be there at the description and the comment section as well. And in today's session, we are going to talk about how you explore metrics with Tableau Pulse. Before we move on, this is my website where you can get a lot of data analytics informative content. There are many, many free courses. So go and grab now. Link will be there at description and comment section both. Once you have enabled and created Tableau Pulse. So by this third part, we all know that Tableau allows us to make data driven decisions and it will send you insight about metrics that you follow. So there is an option to follow and who all can create Tableau Pulse metrics creator, site administrator, explorer or explorer who can publish can create metric definition. But when it comes to using that metric, all can use all users can follow and interact with metrics which use the core definition plus optional filters to scope the data for different audiences and purposes so one not only that once you follow any metric inside about uh, your data is directly delivered to you via email or slack but you need to configure and this video is all about that only okay let's first go to the home page okay now this is the home page of your tableau pulse and now you can see there are many metrics over there whenever you will log in by default you will see all the following metrics but if you want to follow say a new metric you can always go to browse metrics and from there you know whatever metric that you would like to follow you can just follow also you have the option to search as well so if you if you know the name you can just search for uh, that particular metric and you can just go along and uh, follow that very particular and also you can add followers to that let us further try to explore our metrics so you can go and explore metric of your interest just like this one and from the top to bottom you can see the instant insight available to you so you can see the breakdown with respect to different uh, dimensions over there and you can on the fly switch from one dimension to another one like from brand to something else and you can ask questions re relevant to that very particular dimension as well and get the instant answers Now you can click each question to reveal easy to read um, answers over there. Now, how do you adjust your metrics? Now you can click on adjust top left hand side. You can see which will help you to change the metrics, you know, time period or filters like that. Month to date. Now we convert that to week to date. And uh, we go to brand and you can select the brand you are interested in. And here you go, you, you can filter on the fly as well. Now there are a few questions over there for which you would like to have some answers and you can go and follow the same metric if needed. You can always manage followers uh, by going to those three docs. And if you want to add a few more followers, relevant followers, you can always do that. Now, how do you set your preferences? Set the preferences, go to right inside top. You will see that human icon, right? Just click on that and click on preferences. This is the place where you can set the preference that you want Slack, email, on what frequency, weekly, daily or monthly. You want only one way of communication or both ways of communication. It depends up to you. And then you can save it. Once you have set that up, uh, you will get the messages, the insight via channel for example you can see how beautifully it is integrate, integrated with slack channel and you are getting the insight as per the schedule that you set remember that email and slack digest are sent to the email associated with your tableau account in case if your tableau pulse digest was not ready in time you remember that you always have access to your default tableau pulse page you can always go back and get the insight from your home page in case if your metric that you follow followed is no longer in your slack digest or email then that means that the metric was deleted 
So I hope this session was useful for you to explore the power of Tableau Pulse. These three video series will help you to kickstart your journey with uh, the AI backed feature called Tableau Pulse. Be sure